Welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to have a look at some McDonald's toys, some old vintage ones from back in the 90s and early 2000s. Got them all here. We've got six big boxes full. I bought these about, what, three or four months back for £80. What do we reckon? Is there going to be money in reselling these on eBay or not? Like these ones, these ones, and these ones, they're actually in like McDonald's Happy Meal boxes which i don't know does that mean they've been in like the basement of a mcdonald's restaurant somewhere until now i really do not know i've only had a very quick look at these i've not gone into like the bottom of the boxes i have no idea what's in the bottom of some of these boxes whether it's good stuff or not it's a bit of an experiment and i thought it'd make an interesting video so let's get inside and empty these out see what we've got and get them photographed listed see if we can get some sales in by the end of this video. So there we go, everything is in. Where should we start then? I think we'll start with the boxes that are kind of open and then move on to these afterwards. It's gonna be a quick look. We're not gonna to go too in depth on this one. We're gonna have a quick look at what we've got. Let's go. I think I've underestimated the quantity I have here. That's like a third of the box, not even a third of the box. Right, what is this? Yeah, McDonald's, My Little Pony, 1999. See, I don't remember seeing these at all when I was picking this stuff up. So there's two of them, there may well be more. But there's two of them there. And there does seem to be a few random bits as well. Here we have just like a random Stegosaurus dinosaur. I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of that going on, a random purple bag. McDonald's Foghorn type of thing. 1993, Batman. This guy, I've seen this, this guy before. In fact, I've given a couple of these to my kids before. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to be working. So there will be a bit of that because some of these are usually like mechanical and that. So there's bound to be a few that are kind of not really doing it. I think he's, he's supposed to like drum. He's from 1993. Like that, you got like the little guy inside moving around. What's he called? I probably should have done my research, shouldn't I? What's he called? I don't know. I'm not a McDonald's expert. I have frequented there on many occasions, though, as you can probably tell. So this is the same kind of range as this, but it's a little milkshake or drinks carton, I guess. We've got like a burger one here as well. That's like some kind of Hot Wheels. Like truck, and that's Hot Wheels as well. Some kind of dragon. This is like Tasmanian Devil, just like that. Ronald McDonald's in a tractor. Don't know what that is. I mean, what? <laughs> what is that? That's not a McDonald's toy, is it? Anybody know what that is? If you know. Comment down below. Okay, that looks like a weird looking thing. I don't, <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like that before. Maybe there's a bit of money in it. Another Ronald McDonald in a car. Half a car Ronald. A Wiley Coyote. More My Little Pony. More My Little Pony. We've got like uh, Pez dispensers. I'm guessing these aren't from McDonald's. This is a Flintstones one from 1992. So as I said, there's going to be a bit of like random stuff amongst it. This is like Team USA uh, Clapper. Is it it's called a Clapper, isn't it? Like football, football Clapper. Fred Flintstone, Ronald McDonald with a guitar, Bugs Bunny with some kind of like symbol thing. Are these kind of cool. I, I think they they all like connect together. You put each each one if you've got like all. Like six or eight or whatever of the range that they did, they pretty all go together. Who's that? I have no idea. So there is a lot of stuff in this box that I'd, I've never seen before. That is McDonald's. 1989, that's the oldest one I've found yet. It's a weird looking thing, isn't it? Anybody ever seen that before? Gramps 98, Clapper. More like milkshake things. Milkshake things. I think these are really cool, like, it's that old McDonald's, like, 
design, isn't it? There's three different colours like that. I don't think they I don't think it's like that anymore, is it? I could be wrong. Maybe it is, but it's proper like proper vintage to me that. Oh here we got like a what's that an ice cream or Sunday. And there's one there. 1996. I think these are cool. What do you think? I, uh, these really like. I'm, am I a bit sad? I don't know. <laughs> but these, like, I really enjoy looking at all this stuff. Um, I've looked forward to doing this video for a while. And I knew it was a bit of a job because there's a lot to go through, but I was really looking forward to it. More Batman. That guy. What's that guy called? I should know this. All right, look at that. The ball's like going around his head. Fire engine, Ronald. Uh, Space Jam. Water pistol, hippo, why not? Oh, here we go. So these like kind of slot together, I'm guessing. Like that. Different Space Jam toys. So that's it. There's still loads in here. More Batman stuff. Some kind of steamroller, hamburger right there. So you get an idea of what we've got here. Let's move on to the next box. And what I will do afterwards is kind of go through and like separate them out and we can have a look at what we've got you know i put all the like the milkshakes or all the ones from the same kind of groups of toys i will kind of you know divide them all up once we've been through everything and see what we've actually got that's another one of them that's quite quite a cool design on that don't know why i particularly like that one but i do right next box these things are kind of in bags which is good Whoa, look at that. Check that out, guys. I remember these. I remember these little ones from when I was a kid. Which one did I have? I only had one of them. Which one was it? Got a whole bag full of all different ones. So these are the different varieties. Pink car, Ronald McDonald, purple guy, a hamburger on a, like a tricycle. We got loads of them here. Like we'll have, obviously have to go through them, put them into sets. So next, we seem to have more of these like burgers. These are a different type though than the ones I've shown you before. These are like a wide up one. They're from 1995, and they kind of move around. And there's loads of these. Two, four, ten. Like there's absolutely loads of these ones. And then the fries as well. There's lots of them. These are the same type, I think, to these. 1995. They look the same, like they're the same kind of size and everything. Yeah, so these definitely look like they've been like played with, possibly. I suppose they could have just been in somebody's like attic or warehouse or whatever for a load of time. Jewel Masters. Burger King, this one. What's this? It's some kind of like little kennel it's going to be inside oh it's a lady in the tramp oh so this this isn't this isn't mcdonald's either this is a brand called bully which is a german brand if you've been subscribed to me for a while then you will have heard me talk about that brand before but yeah this is interesting 1982 this one so that might have a little bit of money in it but not relevant to what we're doing here. But it's good that there could be some like random vintage toys that are not McDonald's toys in here as well. There's another bag full of stuff in here as well. What's in here? Right. A whole bag full of what looks to maybe even be exactly the same one, which is from Aladdin, the genie from Aladdin with like a little cake. And then, yeah, the rest of what we've got here, it's all the fries and the milkshakes and uh, we've got a few other things like Flintstones. Uh, is this some kind of garage for this then? See that might affect the value. If, it, if this did come with this like this, it might affect the value of the other ones because if, if it was supposed to come with this originally, that's going to lower the value down I would imagine. So that might be, that might be a problem but we'll see. You never know, maybe there's like a in one of these boxes maybe we've got like a load of these possibly and we got some little mickey mouse i've seen these before i've had these before these are not really worth money or at least the ones i've had before are not really worth money these these might be though they're from the year 2000 disneyland paris but there's quite a few different ones of them 
101 Dalmatians, Tigger, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Goofy. Again, if we've got like a full set of them, there might be a bit of money. One of the Chippendales, a Daisy Duck. So there you go. I don't think that's a bad box. Though. I'm hoping that these will be worth good money, like together. So like the fries, the burger and the drink together like that. Okay, next box. So these, what does it say on the box on this one? 90s Max Action Man Toys. 12 equals Max Hot Wheels. So Hot Wheels and Action Man, possibly, but it actually says Crayola there. So who knows? Who knows what we're actually inside? First off, we've got this, which is, I actually, I've actually seen this already. This is not anything to do with McDonald's. It's a tiger dog. Tiger brand dog, don't know what that is, to be honest. I'll look that up later, sir, but let's have a look what we've actually got. Stick it out. I've lost a few on the floor, but don't worry about that. Various different figures from the Action Man range. This guy, these are from 1999. A Space Guy, got a little button. Is this gonna do something? All right, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Motorbike guy. I'm not sure if that's supposed to do anything. So yeah, I've got a good variety. There are others. There's like this one, which I think is, I think winds up. I'm guessing it kind of crawls along or something. And so there's, there's this other one. So I think there's about six different types here of these. So hopefully we've got again like quite a few sets of them and we can just do like quantity six quantity eight or whatever of the full sets of them so next we have these these actually say that they are dragonettes january 1993 it says here so look what we've got there they are right there. i think we've got a box of all the same things here by the looks of it tip them out Yeah, so we've got loads and loads of these dragons or dragonettes, I guess. Hopefully, we've got loads of full sets here. And these these look kind of unusual. They're a bit different to what I've seen before from McDonald's. I've definitely not seen these before out there. They're holding like a little McDonald's ball. And they're from 19... 88 so these are a little bit older these ones a little bit older but the oldest we had so far was 1989 they're in really good condition these ones as well like no signs of wear right, let's have a look at the next box the next are these it says on here mr men what it actually says mr and miss men loose 2003 but it says on here, McDonald's Happy Meal Brother Bear 2004. So what's actually going to be inside? I'm guessing what they've written. Let's have a look. So in here, it does look to be Mr. Man and Little Miss. Let's have a look. Some of them seem to have like little books with them. But most of them don't. Little books, Mr. Happy, Mr. Tickle. These are from 2003, which is exactly what it said on the box. So these don't really, if I'm being honest, excite me much, these ones, compared to some of the others. I don't know about these, whether there's really going to be much money in them, but we will see. We will see. But also, there's a few in here which are not Mr. Men. Roger the Dodger, right there. Uh, some kind of what's this, beetle from, looks to me like Bugs Life, something like that maybe. Disney Bug. Pinocchio. I think he's from Roger the Dodger as well, isn't he? And that's it for those ones. So here we have the last box, and this is a heavy one. The biggest box out of them all. It does say Mr. Man and Little Miss on the box itself, but I don't think that's what's inside because they were really lightweight. This is really heavy, so let's have a look. 
So we seem to have like various kind of bags going on here, so I'll get them out bag by bag. We've got Ronald McDonald skiing. It's a wind up one. It kind of moves across the table. And it's from 1994, that one. So we've got loads of these, like big bags full. All different types. The Ronald McDonald in a tractor. We've got the Hamburglar on like a little jet ski. We've got like a helicopter duck face woman thing. More Hamburglar. Little race car. It's a 1992 on that one. So that says 1995, so we might have a couple of different ones going on here. And a few of these I have seen in the other boxes as well, like this Ronald McDonald with a guitar. It's 1993. So yeah, we do have a, a bit of a variety going on here. But these are all, these are like better than like the Mr. Men ones in my opinion. I think they're, they're more likely the kind of thing that somebody's gonna want as a, like a collector. Here we've got like a Tasmanian Devil. It's quite unique, I think. I feel like this comes, yeah, it does come apart. Is there a date on there? 91. Right, so there's more bags and stuff in here, so let's have a look at them. Like Disney bits. Walt Disney Studios, Disneyland Paris. So maybe these are from McDonald's at Disney, possibly. It's gonna fit me. So just like that, I think. Does it look good? doesn't does it that's kind of interesting it's also kind of falling apart i don't know how that's supposed to clip in but and then we got this which looks like some kind of like etch -a sketch that's kind of cool but this is from disneyland paris as well so it's stuff like this that might actually hold a little bit of money i've never seen this kind of thing before i don't think we've got many others if any of them though unfortunately that might be the only ones we've got but let's keep looking all right we got some of these these are from disney as well by the looks of it what disney studios what are these some kind of is it like a oh it's like a slide like a slideshow type of thing you turn it around it's like you're watching a cartoon I'm going to try and show you that. I do not think that's going to work, but... So 2002, there's actually a few of these as well. So hopefully there's a little bit of money in there. That's quite a cool little thing, isn't it? But how vintage does that look? Just the, the cartoon on there and on there. So we seem to have quite a mixture in here of all different types of things. We've got some more of them, the little McDonald's milkshake things. But we've also got a whole host of other stuff. What's this, Hercules, I reckon. We've got Little Mermaid. Again, it says Disney on him, but I have no idea. No idea what, that, what film that is from. Got more like France 98 football stuff. More drinks, more of these like weird car things. Yeah, more of these, but all kind of garages for the cars. Sunday. Oh, hang on, there's another one of those weird looking things but in green well, maybe it is a proper mcdonald's thing then got a little knuckles toy there from 1993 little kind of water pistol thing from disney's animal kingdom from 1998 this is some kind of hsbc mcdonald's 2001 formula one tie-in type of thing i do not know, that's a bit of a random one. Yeah, this really is a random box of stuff, this one. Batman, got one of these guys, which I don't think we've had any others of these up until now. It's got kind of like a squidgy body. 
from 1991. This one here, I think I've seen this before. Let me see. Yes, I have. It's like a transformer. Well, I guess transforming dinosaur. I think they did like just regular kind of robot ones, didn't they? I'm sure, I've seen them before. Well, this is like a dinosaur one. See, they're really cool. I bet that I've, you know, I bet they're worth a little bit. Those ones. I don't think I've got many of them, unfortunately. Goof Troop, I think that was. Anybody remember that? This is 1989. Big Mac. So then open all the bags, divide them up, see what we've actually got here, see how much money they go for, if there's any sales comps out there, hopefully there is on some of this stuff, and then we'll get them photographed and hopefully get a few sold before the video ends. So I've decided to do it like this because there's so much, I can't like get everything out at once. So we're gonna do it box by box. So this is the first box all out of its packaging, out of its little bags. I've kind of put them into categories and looked a few of them up, not looked everything up because there's a lot to go through. And highlights of what we've got here are probably these, which is what I thought would be the case. These are not too bad if you've got like a full set of four. So the chips, the burger, the milkshake, and the sundae, they're not too bad. Not a huge amount sold, not a huge amount listed either. It's a difficult one to say with a lot of these. There's not a huge amount of solds on a lot of them. Um, some of them don't have many listed at all. Some of them have absolutely loads listed. So I don't think individually selling any of these is the way to go. It's going to be bundles pretty much across the board, unless I find one that's particularly valuable. Bundles is the way to go. It makes them a lot more appealing if you've got a nice little bundle of the same kind of thing going on. Now, some of these Space Jam ones are not too bad if you've got a full set, but we've not got a full set here. I mentioned before about having one as a kid, one of these cars, and it is this one. Yeah, that's the one I had, good memories. Yeah, 1988, that. And these ones here, not too bad either. Uh, these ones aren't too bad as a set, I think they'll do okay. These My Little Ponies, not too bad either. But again, there's not that many of them actually sold. So a lot of this is gonna be like testing the waters, see what works, see what doesn't. Here we've got a load of Batman stuff. These are all bike accessories. This is like a little drinks bottle. Got a little kind of little case there and a little mirror. Thought they were kind of cool. And yeah, from 1995, Batman stuff is quite collectible. So they might do okay. So check that out, there's a lot here, isn't there? There's is a lot, it's taken ages to go through these ones and sort them all out. But we've got loads of sets of these. Now these did come with a little kind of garage, of which we've only got a few, they're in other boxes over there. So I don't think that's going to hurt them too much. I think if we, there's not many people, in fact I couldn't find anybody selling like each one together as a set of four. That's the way I'm going to do it. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a few sales doing that. These here, I don't think these are actually McDonald's. I'm not sure what they are, but these are like air fresheners from back in like the 80s or 90s. And people do sell these quite often. I think we can probably get at least 10 quid for the four, possibly a bit more. Uh, these here, I've had a few of these before. They don't go for a great deal, but I think as a bundle with all the different ones, they're like little finger puppets. I think they'll do okay as a bundle. So with these ones, you've got the little burger you got the big mac you got the milkshake and you got the fries these came with like a little track so you'd wind them up and they'd go around the little track we don't have any of the little, the little tracks a couple of people managed to get like four or five quid for like a big mac one but yeah i don't know we'll have to see on that i'm going to be putting them together as a set of four and we'll see how they do and uh, this here i think is quite good well, I don't know if there's much money in it, but I just think it looks really cool. It's from Disneyland Paris. This must have been like part of a set because it's like a little jigsaw. I'm guessing they formed like a round thing originally. There's a couple of things here that are not McDonald's toys. This and this that are worth a little bit of money. And this surprised me. This is Madame Toad, I believe, or Mrs. Toad from Thumbelina. I do not know. I had to Google uh, lens search her to find her, to find her. 
There's only one person actually selling her out there for £45 out of Australia. Somebody sold a set of three, her and two other characters for about 25 quid fairly recently. Apart from that, there's no others out there. So I don't know if there's any demand for it or not, but hopefully she's a little added bonus, as is this guy. He is a Paddington bear and he's made in Korea. He's from 1987. He's got little boots there and he's missing something from around his neck. But even so, somebody managed to get 20 quid for one recently with the thing around his neck intact. So maybe get 10, 15 for this, perhaps. Again, nice little bonus. So here are all the Action Man McDonald's toys right here. There's lots of these guys. These are kind of cool, these. These remind me of Visionaries. I never had them. I think they were a little bit before my time, but I remember them. And they had like a light up thing or holographic thing was it in the middle and put my personal favorites probably this and there's a few of them and there's nothing here that's like particularly valuable by itself but as with most of the stuff here we're going to be bundling them up maybe six to eight figures per bundle that kind of thing there's not all that many people selling these or that many sold, so it's hard to gauge this one. So these are more recent than some of the others, so I don't know if they're going to be quite as popular, but we can try them out, see what happens. So next is these. They're called Dragonettes. They're from 1988, and we've got loads of them. And there's a set of four, and each one's holding something a little bit different. And yeah, I think these would be okay. There's not that many solds out there. There's quite a few people selling them. A lot of just like individual dragons though. I'll obviously be doing full sets. And if I get some good photographs and price them right, I think they will sell. So here are all of the Mr. Men right here. Definitely not my favorite pickups these, to be honest. And I've just had a quick look and they don't go for much money. I mean, there are some exceptions. Some people have managed to get you know, a decent amount, like somebody got, somebody had one of each one plus the books and got like 10 quid for them. And then somebody managed to get like about 15 quid or something just for Mr. Happy with the book. So who knows? And as well as the Mr. Men, we got these guys here. These are from Bugs Life. Not much money in them either. I'm not sure about this Pinocchio guy. So yeah, not much to say about these. I don't think these are going to do particularly well, these ones. But there you go. We're going to give them a go anyway and see what happens. So that's the last lot right there. And a really big kind of mix of different stuff in this one. Including some of the stuff we've seen in others, like these and these. And then there's also some kind of unique stuff. This is particularly good, I think. It's like a little clapper board. And the ear actually comes off. And it's like an extra sketch. Right on there. And then to raise it, you just kind of do that. Got loads of Ronald McDonald Intractors. This is a particularly good one. But there's only one, unfortunately. It would have been great if there was loads of these. We've also got a few Sonic ones here. You know, things that I thought would have a bit of value, like these. Not really much value, even though they're kind of vintage. And like the hat. And like these. I thought there'd be a bit of money in them. I mean, there is a little bit of money in them. But they don't sell all that often. And that's it. I'm going to have to kind of think a way of bundling this stuff up in a way that makes it appealing to people. So... I'll have to have a think about that to see what to do. Check this guy out. It's a bit like, I don't know, Elton John or something. I don't know what this is. It's a Ford Thunderbird there. Yeah, I've really enjoyed going through all this. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at it. But we've not finished yet. I'm going to get some photographs and get them listed. So right here, we've kind of bundled them all up into relevant bundles. Some of them we're doing like singularly, but mostly we are doing bundles. Uh, things like this right now, we've just kind of kept them like that. So all the burgers are in there. All the like the milkshakes and the fries are in there on those ones. Yeah, so there is a method to the madness here. We do have in mind what we're going to do. It's probably going to take a, 
a while to get all this stuff listed but that was the point of this video to kind of have a look at them see if it's worthwhile or not you know if we can't find some gems amongst all this then i don't know if mcdonald's toys is a way to go at all so it's a little bit later and this is what i photographed so far not all that much those are those water pistols got the batman things right there another set of water pistols these are like the disney little disney jigsaw things another set of them and the Looney Tune guys and these two and then I've also I'm just about to list all of the little dragons the dragonettes so yeah so I've got a bit of work ahead of me in regards to getting all this stuff bundled up and listed it's going to take a little while but what I'll do is I'll cut to maybe a week or two's time where I've managed to list some of the stuff and hopefully we've got a few sales come in so it's now a week later and I know you're all wondering how much we have managed to sell on eBay in that time. Well, I can tell you, drum roll please. Nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. It's early days and to be honest, I've only got up about a third of everything so far. So there's been a little bit of interest in a couple of things. There's been a bit of interest in Madame Frog. A couple of watches on it. There's been a bit of interest in the Dragonettes. And a little bit of interest in those Snoopy air fresheners as well. But nobody's actually purchased anything yet. This was always going to be a bit of an experiment. And I never expected these to kind of fly out of the door. That's, you know, it was never going to happen like that. So it's going to be a longer term thing. Stick with me on this channel. And I will update you in a few videos time. See where we're up to. So I'm going to leave this one here because it's a longer video than what I thought it would be. I was aiming for about 20 minutes and it's like we're over half an hour at this stage. So yes, I'll leave it there for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed anything about the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you in the next one.